Hi everyone, so this is potentially lesson four or lesson five, depending on how fast we get through the earlier stuff. <coughs> it's quite nice this because all we're using in this lesson is tan x or sine squared x plus cos squared x is one. So these three equate well three examples use tan x. So I want to make this into tan x. So if you've got anything which might say, um, say like 3 sin x is equal to 2 cos x, or 3 sin x minus 2 cos x is 0, these can be rearranged. If they look like this, they can be rearranged. Well, it's not working. It can be rearranged. into tan x. There. So I'm going to divide by cos. So I've got sin x over cos x is 2. So tan x is 2. All these lessons on trig start with the most basic ones. So you get back to that starting point. So now I'm going to do the inverse tan of 2. Calc on the go, why don't I? I can see it. So menu one, shift tan two, gives me 63.4. Remember that's the one that stays, right? So I'm looking at tan x and two between naught and 360. So menu five. So this is a tan one now, not from before. So tan doesn't bounce between plus or minus 1. It bounces between plus or minus infinity. So when I graph it, so I've got 0 to 360, but I just want to slightly change the y values. So I do it between minus 8 and plus 8. That tends to give me a decent picture there. Now, like I said before, ideally we should be graphing them. We should be saying, look, here we go. This is where it comes from. So and it's quite nice. It is quite nice practice to graph it. But I kind of like use either one centimeter or two centimeters for ninety degrees. So that would go up. And there's an asymptote at ninety. And it goes through one eighty up to two seventy. Then it comes down from three sixty. I've got a line going across at two. So I know I've got two values that I'll get from my calculator. So if I do G solve and intersect, I've got the 63.4, and I should have, with tan, I should have 180 on from it as well. So I've got X is 63.4 degrees and 243.4 degrees. That's what I expected. So that's quite nice. Right, so we'll look at the next one then. So the next one looks like, so I've done that one where it's equal to each other, so the next one looks like that. So I'm going to take the cos a bit over, I've got 3, it's sine of 2x this time, is minus, oops, minus cos of 2x. Right, so a 1, I divide through by cos, and I want to divide through by 3. So I'm going to move the cos bit, down and I'm going to move the 3 bit down. So I'm cross multiplying. So I've got sine of 2x over cos of 2x is equal to minus 1. So if I divide cos, I've got 1. So I've got minus 1 over 3. Now sine of x over cos of x is tan of x. So sine of 2x over cos of 2x is tan 2x, so that's minus a third. So I do the inverse tan, get my principal value, so minus a third. So 2x is, let's have a look. Hang on. So menu one, shift tan minus a third, minus 18.4. So that gives me minus 18.4. Remember, leave that as it is. Right, I'm going to show you the long way 
which helps us next year for some of the stuff we do, and then we'll do the short way as well. So the long way says, because it's 2x, I'm going to look twice as far. So I'm going to get all my answers off. I'm going to graph 10x, and I'm going to graph minus a third, and get all my answers off. So menu 5, so 10x, 2. Is it 10x and 2? No, minus a third it was, wasn't it? There, so I've got minus a third. Do my G solve. And that'll give me because I've only because I've not done the mind. So this is quite important, this, because the calculator one, the principal value it gets is closest to the, the y-axis, which in this case is minus 18.4. It's off our graph of looking marks 360. That's why it's important to do menu one, because it gives us that one, which we know we don't want, but it's that's the closest one to the y-axis. So for 2x, I'm getting out 161 point, what was it, 161.6? Now I'm supposed to be looking from 0 to 720, and I'm only looking from 0 to 360 here. So I'll look twice as far, because it's 2x. And I've got my 161.6. I've got 341. Point six. Oops. I've got five twenty one point six, and I've got seven oh one point six. I divide through by two. Now, I'll get. Oh, what will I get? Eighty point eight. I'll get one. So we're going. Well, we're going to be nineties now, aren't we? Uh, 170.8, 260.8, 350.8 degrees, 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 degrees. So that's the long-winded way of doing it. The short way, you can read my writing, is to do y equals 10 of 2x on the calculator, and y equals minus a third. And do that from 0 to 360. So that's okay, but I'm going to want to change it to 2x up here. I find it quite confusing. This is a much faster way, just using the calculator. Change it from 0 to 360. And there we go. It immediately gives me the 80.8. 260.8 and 350.8. There. There we go. There. So that's eight minutes in. I've done two examples. Should really try to sneak this third one in just so it's done. Um, in fact, you know what? Not at the moment. I'll do another bit.